Hello friends, today we have a first video about our CNC router machine and I am going to talk about features of this machine, what this machine can make and what this machine cannot make. Let's get started. First of all, I want to start with motherboard which controls this machine. It's based on my CNC controller with 15 inch touch screen. And uh, without keyboard, without mouse. This cabinet has uh, two doors in each side. You can access, open each door. Look at this. And another side. Next, frame, this machine is built from uh, extrusion aluminum, filled on epoxy. It gives uh, more rigid stability and reduce vibration. Also, we have an arm with 3D touch problem. And you can easily find any type of uh, angle, any type of part of material, like uh, inside, outside, circle inside, circle outside, and many, many more. It's very con convenient to find work position in your raw material. It has a high wind rail in all of axis, x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. Ball screw, it's a TBI manufacturer, bearings high wind, stepper motor of each axis. Spindle, uh, 2.2 uh, kilowatts, 24,000 RPM. Also, this machine has, an, uh, has a vacuum table and uh, with thread M8, you can hold any type of uh, wise jigs, and also user clamps for better orientated your vise you can use a pins and uh, set up vise or any jigs what you want also Spindle, talk about spindle. Spindle has a water coolant system outside the beam. Frame uh, is made from aluminum and fully anodized. Each, it helps, it's protect your aluminum from scratch and uh, any damages. Okay, let's have a look about uh, main screen. This you can see the program, which machine works. Also, this is G code, your work coordinates, uh, rapid speed, feed speed spindle speed and MQL system, amount of MQL, I'll show you. We have a MQL system and uh, you can adjust amount of oil and depend of your work. 
I'll show a very interesting feature. How you measure the, measure the tool. First of all, we need to find the position. Move machine a little bit closer. And machine automatically starts to find the position. After you find the position, you can measure the tool length. And machine automatically starts to measure your tool length. That's it. Very easy. And uh, as I mentioned, this machine has a vacuum plate, and I'll show you how it works. Okay. I have a plate, aluminum plate, and I want to hold this plate in your vacuum table. We use small vacuum uh, vacuum compressor and it's hold. It's secure and you can work. I'll show you how to find, for instance, this edge. We move machine. Approximately. And I want to find this edge. Stop. Stop. I roughly adjust position. Yeah. And machine automatically starts to find And now this spindle directly on this point. And you can find any type of angle, age, as I mentioned, inside circle, outside, etc. I'll show you if we remove machine. And you can see how it's precise. Okay. Welcome to turn off. And you can pull out your material. Okay, talk about cabinet. How it's look like. And it has a box. Also, I forgot to say, it has a two panels. You can 
unlock this and you can move this panel and uh, you have perfect access for maintaining this machine. The box for chips. Move and clean the box. Also, it has a, a emergency button. It's turn off machine and stop. Okay. Uh, talk about version of our CNC machine. First version it's without cabinet. Second version with cabinet. We can see on the video. Uh, this machine based on my CNC controller. It has a 15-inch touch screen without keyboard, uh, without mouse. You can move your machine. Several workspace, it's a main workspace, it's a manual workspace. Also, this machine has a, this cabinet has a two doors. Access in this side. And access the other side. Okay. Now talk about uh, what this machine can make. Which material? Of course, any type of wood, plastic, uh, carbon, fiberglass, uh, and all of type of non-ferrous materials like aluminum, brass. Okay. On the screen, you can see a specification on this machine dimensions, what maximum size of material you can um, uh, cut on this machine, fit and speed, and many more. Well, it was the first video, first review about our CNC rotor machine. Let's talk about our future plans, about our channel, what we planning to make. First of all, we are planning to make a tutorials how to use this machine, diving through any features. Secondly, we'll show which program we used for create parts, generate G-code for this machine, and last but not least, we create something new using this machine. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, stay tuned, and see you next video. Bye.